Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome to another video. It is the first Friday of the month and today I'm creating the 15th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama for you. If you would like to catch up on all the other ones, I'll leave a link in the iCard section. So let's see what the 15th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama will be. Just taking out all the old ones we've already done. And it is the Transfiguration Classroom, so let's get started. As always, I'm starting this project with a matchbox I created myself with the help of a template maker. I will leave the link and the dimensions I use for my matchboxes in the description box below. I'm cutting out most of the back of the base of the matchbox as I'm going to be adding a half circle wall to the back of the Transfiguration Classroom. And of course, I'm gluing that all together. I've cut out the piece of cardboard that will be the domed wall, which will be placed inside the diorama like this. But first, I have to cut out some windows. I have sketched out where I want them to go and will cut them out with my craft knife. I also cut out window frames that will be going on the in and outside of the windows. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know I like to use acetate sheet for the windows and that is what I'm doing here. I'm tracing the inside window shape onto the acetate and cut out just a bit wider around them so I can glue them behind the window frames. You can remove any excess marker from the acetate with rubbing alcohol. Then attaching the acetate with some PVA glue. Cleaning the excess with a Q-tip. And then attach the window frames. Before I'm attaching the window frames to the outside, I'm drawing the lattice on the windows. And this is what it looks like with all the window frames on. And now that the windows are done, I can finally glue the wall to the matchbox. For the base and top of the domed wall, I trace around on a piece of cardstock, cut it out and glue it on. And I'm also gluing the flap of the matchbox into place. If you look at the Transfiguration classroom in the movie, you can see that it's filmed in an old church building. Halfway the wall are pillars. They are not massive, but they are definitely there. The windows are above that. So with three pieces of cardboard layered on top of each other and some skewers cut in half lengthways, I'm building the pillar wall. Then with a strip of paper, I'm going to line the top and the base of the pillar section. And then it's time to paint. The main walls are an off-white, so that is the color I'm going for. The door and the part above the door I'm painting a dark brown. Once that's dry, I'm going over the entire surface with a watered-down darker acrylic paint to age it up. I am painting the outside window frames a dark brown and also add some details to the outside wall. I 
I'm tracing the matchbox onto a piece of watercolor paper so I can create the floor for the diorama. I am laying down a dark gray wash first, then I'm creating a grid-like pattern for the floor tiles. And going over all the individual tiles with watercolors to give it more dimension. And when that is all dry, it's time to glue the floor into place. From some thicker cardboard, I'm going to cut out a piece that will be the teacher's podium at the end of the classroom. I am painting it brown to make it look like wood, and then gluing it in. I made all these tiny pieces of furniture for the classroom. They are really easy to make. I'm basically working with basic shapes and cutting them out of cardboard and gluing them together. I particularly like the look of these tiny little chalkboards. And of course McGonagall's chair. And her desk. Then here is some attempted footage of me putting the little pieces inside the diorama. It is very hard to coordinate my view of the diorama, putting the pieces in the right spot and keeping it in frame. So let's have a look what the final diorama looks like. And this is it for the 15th Harry Potter Matchbox diorama. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. If you would like to support me, you can do so by signing up for my Patreon. You can find the link in the end card of this video or in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!